A local municipality has a December that is packed full of fun and entertaining things to do. Coming up on Polk Place, we will talk with their special event supervisor for the city of Haines City about the dates and times of the events. Make sure you stick around. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Brian Lacey, and joining me in studio is Lynn Zaya Johannes Meyer. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah, big title there, man. That's yeah. a special <laughs> events supervisor. It is, it'll get you. Yeah? <laughs> Looks cool on a business card, doesn't it? That's right, <laughs> it makes me feel special. <laughs> uh, we love when you come in. Uh, I love being here, <laughs> thanks for having me. So December, so, usually yes. a, a big ticket item for you guys. It and is. well, this year, no different, but uh, Gonna have a different feel, a different look, and different vibe about it. Let's start off with the one that kicks it all off, Glitter, Glisten, and Snow. Let's talk all about that. Yeah, so Glitter is on December 5th um, from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, we invite all of the community to come out. It is a free event. We will have Santa all the way from North Pole down to take pictures with the kids. He will be giving out um, gifts, and uh, we're so excited to have him here. That's a special uh, occasion on its own. And then, um, so to start off the night, we will have lights throughout the park. Um, they will be on for the whole month of December for families to come and enjoy, uh, to come and just hang out. Um, but we'll have some vendors and some local dance groups perform for us and it'll just be a good time. So we invite families to come out, spend and, the day with us. And you got goodies too, right? We do, yeah. yes. We, yeah. As, what, what good is a holiday gathering without snacks? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So there will be food vendors, but um, we also try to give out a little something for attendees, like hot chocolate and maybe some popcorn in there. So, yeah. You guys can work some snow in this year? We are, yes. Yeah. We always have falling snow from the sky, you know, here in Florida. It's hard to come by, so. Sometime, can you teach me how to do that? How do you guys do it's that? It's a secret. It's a it se is a secret. You won't share with me, will <laughs> nope. you? <laughs> nope. Ever since so. you became that special events supervisor, you took an oath not to share. That's right. How to make snow with Lacey. <laughs> how to do snow and get Santa here. That's right. <laughs> I'm impressed with Santa, but yeah. I'm more impressed with the snow from Florida. <laughs> right? I hear you. Yeah, so uh, what time does that go off then? So it starts at six o'clock um, and it'll run until about nine o'clock p.m. So it'll, at six, uh, we'll have Santa come in and then we'll light up the whole park. And that is one of the coolest things. I love driving down through there. Oh yeah, uh, it's beautiful. Lake Ava Park is, is uh, you know, kind of gives it that, that holiday feeling. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, we'll have a big, a big Christmas tree. It's about 31 foot. Um, and then we'll have different displays throughout the whole park down by the lake and things like that. So it's very nice for families to just come and walk through. So I take it you don't run to the to the Home Depot or uh, no. or or Lowe's for that <laughs> yeah. 31 foot tree. Not quite. No, <laughs> that one is hard to get to. Yeah, I was so. gonna say, is there like a secret place yeah, uh, oh, along yeah. with the snow machine that's for the right. 31 foot Christmas it just tree? Magically appears. Yeah, that's right. And and you get the guys from uh, who, who usually decorates the tree. Uh, so our parks department um, will come and set that up, but that's usually a full if not two day process just wow. to get the tree up. So lots of work goes into it. Well, as we said in the beginning, uh, different look, different vibe, mm -hmm. bit of a different time of year. Yeah. Another event that you've got coming up, but uh, like, like we said, a different vibe yeah. is the Ironman. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that if we could. Yeah, so Ironman typically is in the beginning of the year, um, but this year we of course decided to move it back uh, due to COVID. So we have decided to do it the second week of December, um, which is gonna be December 13th, it is on Sunday. Um, typically we're there around four or five o'clock in the morning um, and that will be an all day event. So they travel through pretty much 
a lot of Polk County. Yeah. Um, and uh, but this year a little bit different. We have decided to add the rule in of no spectators, um, just to limit you know the amount of contact and people that are around each other. Um, Ironman has come up with a really great plan to keep everyone social distance and um, just ensuring that everybody is safe and we can still have the event. For those that have never seen or been to this event, mm -hmm. talk a little bit about what it takes to, to put on something like this because it is no small undertaking, right? Absolutely. So there is a lot of logistics that goes into this. Um, not only is Ironman involved, but Hank City is involved, the county is involved, our fire department, police department, the sheriff's office. Um, there are so many different agencies that are involved in the planning process and um, just making sure that roads are closed and, you know, the lake is ready to go and things like that. There's just, there's a lot of planning um, just to make sure that, you know, everyone is safe throughout the entire event. Um, but it's, it's definitely months of planning beforehand. So it's 70.2 miles. Do you know the actual, is that how that 70 goes? 70.3. 70 70.3. Mm -hmm. What's the actual breakdown of that? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's, is, it a, is it a half marathon? It's like a 1.2 mile swim. Um, I, ugh, maybe like I, I th a 14 Yeah, I think it's a half marathon. Yeah. Yeah, and then. I, I think the ride is longer than what the, or is it a full marathon? It's a half. It's a half. So mm -hmm. 13 mile, 13 point, 20, so yeah, 13.1 miles on the marathon. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. So that would leave a 50 plus mile bike ride. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot. Every year I'm like, oh man, I could totally do it. And then I'm like, no, nah, definitely can't. I will cheer you on from the side. I, I think to myself, I, I ride my bike a lot and I'm like 50 miles. I may get that in a week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And right. I, I couldn't do that in one day. <laughs> Same. I'd be like, I need my puffer. <laughs> That's right. I'll drink my coffee and leave. <laughs> Cheer you guys on. So. But no spectators. No spectators. <laughs> nope. We always have a um, a great turnout of volunteers, yeah. uh, which is so much appreciated because we couldn't do it without all of our volunteers. Are you in need of volunteers this year? Always. And if so, how do they go about doing this? Yeah. So they can go onto our Facebook page. Um, we always. Um, update that with um, information, um, information on our website, but just reach out to us um, through email and let us know that you're interested in volunteering. And our last event we need to talk about, Breakfast with Santa. That's right. Yeah, yeah. when's that go on? So that is December 19th um, from 9 to 1130, and it is held at our Lake Eva Event Center. Um, tickets are being sold for $10, which includes the price of a meal, um, but children will get to come with their families, sit down, have a nice breakfast, and then go over and have pictures and just get to talk with Santa. Um, it's very relaxed, laid back, and it's just a great time for families to bond and get to see Santa. So, As a planner for all three of these events, mm -hmm. how, I mean, how is, how is COVID taken over in, in what you do and, and how you do it. Yeah, so there um, there's a lot of planning and thought that goes into how we're doing these events. Um, we are definitely changing it up a little bit just to ensure that everybody is safe. Um, the way, you know, our route of having people walk and um, just making sure that vendors are spaced out. But of course, we encourage everyone to wear masks um, if, if they wanted to wear gloves, you know, definitely have that. Um, but we will have some supplies provided for people. So if they didn't come with a mask and they would like one, we will provide that for them as well. But um, just trying to ensure everybody is safe and doing our due diligence to, you know, make sure everything's social distance and everybody's still able to come out and have a great time. And how do you ask a little one to ramp it down when <laughs> Santa's within eye shot and going, Santa, 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 yeah. six feet, yeah. six feet. <laughs> so that's on us just to make sure that, you know, everything is kind of um, not blocked off, but just setting it apart so that they can still take pictures. Either, you know, they would stand behind him or stand in front of him just to have social distancing. But, you know, we'll, we'll make it work. <laughs> yeah, and after... So. Uh, Okay, we got just a little bit of time left. Uh, did we miss anything? Yeah, so there is one really important piece of our events that I would like to just touch on. Um, of course, this wouldn't be possible without all of the support from our city commission, our city administration, all of our staff members, um, but also our sponsors. Um, we could not do this without the support of our community. 
Um, so we would like to thank our, our sponsors, Miracle Toyota, um, Balmoral, uh, Proflex, um, Center State Bank, um, all, of, all of those individuals. There's so many more that we could name, but of course we couldn't do it without our sponsors. So we appreciate them so much. And after the holidays, you get to take maybe just a little bit of break, and then you're right back at it we because are, yes. the most wonderful time of the year for me ribs on the ridge barbecue season. That's right. Yes. <laughs> and you are going to come back and talk to me about we, that. We we will. We will absolutely yeah. will. So we'll save that one for next time. All right. Well, come back again and see me real soon, will you please? Yeah, absolutely. The City of Haines City invites you to check out Glitter, Glisten, and Snow Saturday, December fifth from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Lake Eva Park. It's located at 555 Ledwith Avenue in Haines City. The first Saturday in December is always the kickoff for their Christmas festivities. Count down with them as they light up thousands of lights and their 31-foot Christmas tree at Lake Eva Park. There will be falling snow, arts and crafts vendors, local children's entertainment, food vendors, and much, much more. Guest of honor includes Santa himself. This event is free and open to the public. There will be a special lighting of Lake Eva Park at the beginning of the evening, and the park will be festive with light displays throughout the month of December for the community to enjoy. Also, mark your calendars for Breakfast with Santa. It is scheduled for Saturday, December 13th. It is scheduled for Saturday, December 19th from 9 to 11.30 a.m. at the Lake Eva Center, 799 Johns Avenue in Haines City. Tickets are $10, which includes the meal. Join them for the yummy breakfast and the opportunity to meet Santa Claus. Tickets are on sale now through the December 15th. There's a limited amount of tickets, so purchase your tickets and parents don't forget to bring your cameras. Now, if you need more information, give them a call 863-421-3700 or look them up on the web at www.hainscity.com. Perfect. See how easy that was? That was. Yeah. Used to it by now. Who, you or me? Both. Oh. <laughs> You're way used to it. I'm way used to it.